Costumes are expensive, from thongs to bikinis to gowns. And that's not even counting all the little extras like garters and shoes. But with a little know-how and some creativity, you can create your own costumes, even if you don't know how to sew. This is especially important during the holidays, when you may need specialty costumes that you'll only wear for a short period of time. We're about making money, not wasting it. Number one, the easiest way to get started creating DIY stripper costumes is to cut down some piece of clothing that just covers too much for your liking. You can alter a simple t-shirt into a halter top by cutting out the collar, cutting out a hole in the neckline, the shape that you want it, and cutting out a hole in the back. This is a stripper shirt that a coworker made for me out of a simple t-shirt. You can then cut down the sides or back of the shirt and make a fringe, then tie the fringe tightly together so that it flatters you perfectly. My coworker did this in the back. It's hard to see, but it's gathered in the back with a fringe. Or you could take the same t-shirt and cut off the bottom so that it shows just enough underboob and then alter the neckline and sleeves how you want them. Keep in mind how it will look when you raise your arms before you cut. You don't want to come flying out just because you waved at someone. Unless you do. You could take a pair of jeans or jean shorts and cut them down until they're basically panties. This especially works if you dance to country music. Cut down shorts, a flannel shirt tied just below your breasts, and you match your music. Number two, something I always wanted to experiment with because I'm a little on the kinky side, is wearing ropes as a costume. Doing elaborate ties that covered the necessities that I could untie or shift away as I danced. You could use soft, thick ropes for this to get more coverage easier, or thin cord to leave more pronounced marks on you. Rope marks are sexy. Just be sure you know what you're doing. A few rope tying courses would be a good idea. And that you always have safety scissors on hand in case the ropes get too tight or you don't know how to get out of them. I could never seem to be able to build up the rope knowledge to be able to be secure in this costume. But maybe you're more skillful than me. Number three, if you're not kinky but you still like the idea of wearing woven fibers, there are crochet patterns on Pinterest for crocheted bikinis. If you have a base level of talent, most of these won't take long to do, and they sure won't use much yarn either. Number four, but say your club is too fancy for cut off t-shirts, bondage rope, or bikinis. Even if you don't have the skills to create a costume beginning to end, you can still alter your costumes to get the look that you want. You can cut fringe or sew it on to boring cocktail dresses to make movement more visually interesting on stage. You can carefully cut high slits in long gowns and hem them easily. You can add sequins, spikes, and gemstones to collars, hems, and waistbands. You can take the cheapest, most boring, and ugly gown and turn it into something drop-dead gorgeous. Number five, if you can sew, you've probably been rolling your eyes in most of this video, but for you, creating a holiday costume is easy. Grab some red, blue or green stretch fabric from your local fabric or craft store and go wild. Elf bikinis, Hanukkah blue baby dolls, and Mrs. Claus gowns galore. You can order lingerie and gown patterns online, or better yet, find them in stores, since it's getting close to time to wear them and you don't want to wait on shipping. You don't need to have a fancy serger or worry too much about wear and tear, since this isn't a costume that you're going to wear all year. I hope this gave you just a few ideas about making your own costumes, but this is just the beginning. If you have a local fabric shop, stop in, peruse the available fabrics or yarns, and see what inspires you. Make sure to look at the trims and details like gemstones and sequins. If you choose what your outfits are made out of and make them yourself, you have all the control over how they fit, how they feel, and what image they provide. My guess is you'll feel a lot more confident than in whatever you could have gotten from the limited selection at your local sex shop or whatever cheap sweatshop made thing you bought online. If this or any other of my videos leaves you with more questions than answers, leave your questions in the comments of the video. It's my plan to do an ask me anything style video about stripper topics sometime in the near future.
If I don't receive enough questions, I'll just reply to comments. If you got something from this video, please click like and subscribe. Over here is a parody video of Halloween costumes. My link tree is in the description. Much love and happy holidays.